Hello. I'm just relaxing. I got bored and bleached my hair. What do you think? I'm also waiting on a transmission for that car. Or not a transmission, but a clutch for the transmission for that car. But I decided to just kind of go out on a random limb with something different today. And I guess I'll lead off with talking about a fear that I've got. And I've decided that I'm going to overcome that fear by doing this video post. So, for a long time I've always fancied myself something of an inventor, and I've come up with a couple ideas, and not long after I started working on those ideas, somebody else would come out with a similar idea, and that kind of trained me to be afraid of having my ideas stolen. So I've kind of kept them under wraps for a really long time, but I guess at this point, it's gotten to a thing where I just need to, to get over it and move forward. And honestly, this idea that I have that I want to work on is one that I can't do alone anymore. I, I'm going to need help. So let me kind of get into that. But for me to do that, let me kind of start from the beginning. I, something tells me I kind of need to do that to really get you the whole impression on where my mind is coming from. So, as a child, I have always had this belief that a car engine can run on water. And there's a lot of history that related to that. I grew up when the internet was growing up, and I know of Stanley Meyer. I looked at a lot of his stuff back in the 90s when he was... Uh, documenting some of that stuff online um, and it was being documented and I've done a lot of research on things like electrolysis uh, hydrogen powered cars I've spent a lot of time looking at a lot of physics and chemistry and just various ways to make this possible and over the years I have tested different ideas and you know, they, they've all reached a point where I either determined that they could work, but the amount of energy needed to make it feasible was more than could be made into a small package that would be portable and be functional in a car. So, hydrogen generation via electrolysis works. Uh, I'm not going to argue with you over that. It does. Um, it just requires so much power input to make it feasible that it's not really effective for the purpose of packaging it into a car. Uh, which is why like hydrogen fuel cell cars are more of a thing and the hydrogen um, tanks and things like that, you refill them but a fuel station is what would do the electrolysis to generate the hydrogen that you'd run into the car. Anyways, uh, so to get over this, this fear in general of my idea being stolen, but also at the same time patronize people to see if there's anybody else out there that's remotely interested in trying to work on this, I've come up with a new approach. Um, and it actually doesn't involve hydrogen, it doesn't involve trying to burn uh, water or convert it into something that could be burned as a fuel. I've decided to actually go backwards in time by a good 150, 200 years and actually look at steam powered systems. Uh, mainly because that stuff's been around for a long time, it's used in power generation plants, so this idea could in theory be scaled up to facilitate larger situations, stationary systems, things like that, home power generation, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the biggest limitation there isn't really the, the steam power. The power plant's easy. Uh, we've had lots of examples of steam engines over the years, steam turbines, and all sorts of stuff. The biggest limiting factor is what generates the steam and how it's generated, and what power is used to generate the steam. So, 
that's where my focus has been over the last probably three or so months is trying to come up with something that can be utilized to generate a fair volume of steam quickly and efficiently and in a small package. And I finally think that I have reached an idea of something that would work. Um, the flip side to that is that instead of generating pressure with steam, it would be an ambient temperature and you would use the uh, cooling effect where steam recondenses into water to create a vacuum. And it, it would actually be powered off of a vacuum instead of under pressure. That actually simplifies the amount of energy that goes into it, the amount of storage for trying to, to store the steam, a number of different factors. So I'm not gonna go into all the details, uh, mainly just because there's a lot um, and if you're not in the know on this stuff it's not going to make sense anyways so yeah let me know what you think just based on my my rough expl or explanation there um, what your what your thoughts would be I have a couple different methods and approaches to it I have two that I think are the most feasible one of them I could probably manage to do relatively on my own the other one requires materials that i don't have access to and no i'm not talking about like nuclear or something like that i'm talking about like ceramics and things like that that are outside of my 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 price range uh that type of stuff i would need like musk money for so i and would be needing somebody that is interested in playing with this concept that actually has a proper engineering background, has proper funding to be able to source materials. I mean, I'm not so much interested in making money myself in this idea. I just want to see it work. But I realize that the devil's in the details with that regard, and I need to have those resources to be able to afford the materials to make experimentation even possible so yeah i would like to pursue my biggest childhood dream that i've experimented with since gosh i was like eight when i started into this idea and i don't want to give up on it i refuse to accept the fact that this isn't possible and the concept of running on water for a car can mean a lot of different things so by standards, a steam-powered car is still a car running on water. Uh, no different than a car that's electrolysisly breaking down the molecules and burning them in a combustion chamber, stuff like that. So, for a long time, that was where I was stuck on. I was stuck with the trying to convert the water and burn it, and I've realized that that is just overly complicated and there will never be a point where at least given current technology and materials where breaking down the water breaking those bonds because they're very strong and require a lot of energy to break is technologically and fiscally feasible to do in a small package at least one that would make it into a car that the common consumer could afford so i think that this route with the amount of technological backing and mechanical engineering that's gone into steam engines over the years is highly feasible and a number of existing vehicles could actually be, be retrofitted to make it work using the existing engines there's aspects of that that would need to be uh, worked out like the the rusting due to the condensation and stuff like that but that doesn't mean it's insurmountable, especially with more modern aluminum engines. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. This is a, a big thing for me to go out on a limb and put this out there. So I'm, I'm curious to, to get feedback. Let me know. Love you. Bye.